Hey friends, today I'm going to be working on the second part of the project and this part is going to be inserting the data into the database. All right. So in the previous video, I have shown you that how you can get the uh, sign up values like email, password, full name and account name. But in this video, I will insert those values into the database. In the previous video, I have shown you that you, how you can print them. But in this video, I will insert those data into the MySQL database that I will be using here. So the first thing that I need to show you is that I in the previous video, I made some mistake and that mistake was that basically I changed the uh, I, changed, I gave the wrong variable name. As you can see that this is the variable name sign up account name and the value that it is getting is basically the full name. All right. So I need to change this. So first of all, what I will do, I will write full name instead of account name and inside this full name, I will write uh, the account name. All right. So I changed the variable name uh, account name to full name and I changed the uh, full name to account name. So this was a mistake that I made in my previous video. So I just corrected it. So what I will do, I will first of all install it, go install. And as you can see that this is giving me a message that uh, sign up is modified and means for modification uh, that this is modified and I have to commit these changes. So at the end, I will show you that how you can commit it. But first of all, I installed it. And if I want to run this command, what I will do, I will write proctl. And now this time I will write e for email Bilal Khan at the rate gmail.com. And the next thing is to give the password. I will write password one, two, three, four. Uh, and the full name is going to be, let's say Bilal Khan. And the uh, account name is going to be a for account name is going to be Bilal. All right. So if I press enter on this, all right, so I didn't uh, add a command here. Sorry about that. It is asking me to enter a command. First of all, I have forgotten about it. Let's write sign up and then you need to provide these values, these flags E for email, P for password. And after that, I have not written the, uh, sorry, full name. I need to give the full name also. This is a flag for full name F and the A for account. All right, account name. So let's press enter on this. Now you can see that uh, in the previous video, it was showing me Bilal Khan at the end, but now it is showing me Bilal Khan at the, uh, on the upper, uh, on the upper side. All right. So basically this was a mistake that I made in my previous video. So I have corrected it and I have showed you that uh, it was, it will basically print the values uh, from going from left to the right. All right. Like this from left to the right. So this was a mistake that I cleared it and it's a minor mistake. So I hope you understood. Now the next step is to first of all, uh, in, uh, insert the values into the database. So how you can insert them. So uh, for this purpose, I will create some files and directories so that the first file and the directory that I will create is that I will create a directory by the name of database. And as you can see that this is a new directory. And after that, Inside this directory, I will create another directory by the name of MySQL and inside this MySQL directory, I will create a file by the name of db.sql and uh, in which I can write the uh, SQL queries in it. And the next file is going to be connect.go and uh, the next file is going to be insert.go. All right. So these are the files that I have created. And if I close them, the next directory that I'm going to be creating is middleware that I will show you uh, after the later on in this video. So this is a directory inside this directory that I will, I will create another file that is uh, middleware. Sorry, I have misspelled it middleware.go. All right. So this is a file that is present inside this directory middleware and the database uh, directory contains uh, the subdirectory by the name of MySQL. And inside this MySQL directory, there are some files like connect.go, db.sql, insert.go. All right. So I will be working on these files one by one. So now the first thing that I will be working on is that first of all, let's close them. And uh, the thing that I'm, I will be working on is to first of all, connect the database. So how can I connect this? So first of all, I will write the package MySQL into the uh, connect.go file. And once it is written, after that, I will create a file, sorry, connect, uh, create a function by the name of connect. All right. And uh, once it is written, I will write another, the returning value will be uh, db star SQL 
db all right so now let's save this and what i will do i will uh, instead of uh, connecting them uh, i will first of all mention the root the password the um, address and the database name also because in order to connect to the mysql server i first of all need to uh, provide these credentials and then i will be able to connect so what i what i need to do is to first of all create another file outside of all these directories by the name of env all right and after that let's write another create another file by the name of dot git ignore all right git ignore so this is a file that will basically ignore this env file when i will upload the data into the github repository because this env file can uh, contain some kind of uh, secret information or the credentials so what i will do i will first of all provide the username and the password and the address and at the end i will provide the database name so let me show you that how it, i will provide it mm, db user and db uh, password after that um, db address sorry uh, address and then db um, db all right so db db is for database so now i will make them equal to the credentials and then i will show you that how you can uh, use these credentials here in order to connect to the database all right so first of all let's uh, write these credentials and i will get back to you so now I have written all the credentials in my .env file, but I won't show you here. Instead, what I will do is inside this .git ignore file, I will write the .env. Because if I save this, this file will basically be uh, ignored, all right? So if I upload this file and the data inside this uh, um, GitHub repository, this file will be ignored and it will not be shown to you. So the next step is to basically uh, take these credentials that I have written in this file and after that use these credentials in order to connect to the SQL MySQL So what I need to do is to first of all take these credentials So how can I take these credentials? I will go to the middleware.go file that I have created previously All right, so middleware.go file, please open it and after that let's write uh, mid Package middleware and after that what you need to do is to create a file Lo, uh, sorry create a function by the name of load env variable so this is another function that will basically be used to get the values that are present inside this dot env file all right so what i will do i will write the key and the key will be string and the values will be also the string all right so i will provide the key and based on these keys the values will be provided to me using this function all right so the first thing first is that i will write wiper and after that I will write the read sorry read config uh, sorry get uh, get string uh, get config or right. get config file sorry I have forgotten about the set sorry set config file set config file dot env this is uh, the file that will basically be set up and after that I will give the variable name by uh, writing get uh, error is equal to wiper and once it is written dot read in config and after that provide the error message if the error is not equal to nil then log factor all right and once this error is provided what it will do it will basically set this uh, file and read it and if it is causing some kind of error in order to read it then it will give me that error but if it is not giving me an error i will uh, give i will take the value from it all right so i will uh, give um, a variable by the name of value and key sorry value and okay and i will write what you can say that uh, um, get sorry wiper get and then i will provide the key here and based on this key i will uh, based on this key, I will uh, take a value. All right, this is a value that will be uh, gotten once I provide this key. All right, and after that, if it is not okay, then give me the error that it is uh, that this is the error that it is not getting the key. If it is not getting the key, then it will give me this error. But if it is taking the key successfully and uh, giving me the value, then I will return that value. All right return that value 
so i hope you understood it will set this file read it get the value based on this key that i will provide and as a result i will be providing a provided a value if it is giving me some kind of error then i will i have printed an error message here also all right so let's uh, save this and once this uh, function is created now the next step is to write the open the connect.go file and here what i will do i will write the user db sorry uh, db user sorry db user and uh, make it equal to the middleware and inside the middleware i have created a function by the name of load env variable load environment variable and once it is loaded what i will do i will provide the key so where is the key the key is basically i have given it here but i will provide the key that i have written already in this dot env file all right so i have shown you uh, what are the keys but i didn't provide you the values so what it will do i will provide the key here and it will take the values from this file all right so let's provide the value no, sorry the key i will write db user now let's uh, copy this and paste it three times so that it will be easy for me db password db um, address and db db all right so these are all the password address that i have uh, written it here and now let's change the variable also db password and uh, db address at the end i will write the db db so now let's use these buff variables because i have not used it now let's make another variable by the name of dot uh, sorry s and make it equal to fmt s printf so what s printf will do it will basically assign or allocate the data that will be written here to this variable all the data that it will write it will be allocated to this s variable so let's write some data here so first of all i will write um, uh, percent s then colon percent s and after that at the rate tcp and uh, inside this bracket i will write percent f colon 3306 and after that uh, slash uh, percent s so what this percent uh, s means basically these are asking me for the user here is the password here is the address and here is the database name so i will give this that i have gotten from here so i will got this I will get this and once it is uh, gotten then I will uh, uh, print it here all right so let's write db user sorry db user db password db address and then the db db all right so so these are all the data that will be printed and they will be allocated to this s variable all right so now let's use them what i will do i will write insert sorry mm, what i will do i will connect it so how to connect it i will um, what you can say that all right so what i will do i will write uh, db and then the error is equal to uh, db minus q sorry uh, open sorry open open this and sorry sql open sql open and then inside this sql open i will write my sql and then the s all right so let's give the error if error is equal to not equal to uh, nil then uh, log fatal error all right if it is giving me a uh, yes if it is not fetching the data or not opening the my sql then give me this error if it is successfully done and connected then return it so how what to return instead i will write the db so the db will be returned to me as a result and uh, it will show me that it is connected all right so now the next step is to create a table all right so once the database is connected what i will do i will create a table and once the table is created i will insert the data into that table all right that i will give uh, inside that sign up form all right so let's create a table first of all i will write create table and this will be a function and inside this table what i will write i will basically uh, what you can say is that i will write the numbers all right so this will be in number and 
and as a result I will write the returning value would be db sql db all right so this db it has a value uh, this one sql dot db so what I need to do I first of all need to write some queries and then I can create table based on these queries all right so this is a file that I have created already a uh, db dot sql so now let's open this and after that what I need to do I, I need to write um, create table if not exists sorry if not exists and the table name would be sign up all right inside this table what I need to do I need to give four values sign up email sign up password sign up full name and sign up account name all right so these are all the things that I will write emails and the emails would be like uh, what can, what you can say that first of all not the emails ID because it is necessary so ID integer primary primary key and uh, sorry I have misspelled it primary key and after that auto increment auto increment these will be basically these IDs will be incremented once multiple values are added and they are the primary keys into in this uh, table and after that the next step is to write the emails because this is now the next step emails and uh, what is the email is basically war char I will give the values 255 to insert uh, 255 values into this email and after that what I will do I will write not null I don't want this email to be null instead I want it to be filled and unique and after that the next step is to write the passwords and uh, the passwords would be war char 255 the same values not null and it should not be unique it can be anything but the email should be unique the next thing is to write the address and the sorry full names full names and that would be word char 255 not null that should also be not null and the next step is to write the account names account names word char for 255 not null all right so these are all the things that are written here and what I will do, I will uh, write the semicolon also here because with the help of this semicolon, this query will be differentiated and this query will be uh, um, different from another query that you will write further. Let's say if I write multiple queries like this one, all right. So in order to split this, uh, those queries, I will use the semicolon and this query will basically uh, differentiate from uh, this from this query, all right. So they will separate this by using this semicolon so let's clear this and now it is done the query is written here what I will do I will create a table based on these queries that I have written it here so what I will do I will first of all write DB equal to connect and then after that what I will do I will write the query and inside that query what I will do I will write uh, um, let's say insert into sign up all right so insert into sign sorry I have mis um, wrong written it wrong so what I will do I will first of all write uh, what you can see sorry I need to write uh, uh, first of all query and then error and after that what I need to do is to write the um, what you can say IO till read file and then uh, after that I need to give the file path sorry database and then the mysql and then the db.sql all right because i need to read the query from this dot db.sql file so that's why i need to give the pro provide the path path of the file and after that i need to use it so i will write if error is not equal to nil then write log fatal error and once the error is recovered and once it has read the file what I will do I will write the requests and uh, make it equal to the what you can say that uh, DB sorry requests and strings and split it all right so split uh, the query and the query would be like first of all write string uh, query and write the uh, semicolon here 
all right so what it will do basically it will read the file here all right from this path that i have given to it and once this path is read after that what it will do it will split the query that i have written here so let's say if there are multiple queries that i have shown to you previously that these queries will be separated or splitted by using this semicolon that i have written it here as you can see that this query that i have written will be splitted or separated by using this semicolon all right and once it is written how can i identify them how can i identify or pick a specific query i will write the number for it that i have written it here all right so this number i can give it any number like number zero number one number two number three so based on these numbers the queries will be picked up and uh, if you have multiple queries then uh, with the help of this functionality you can pick the query after that what you can do is to write the SMT, STMT error and then write, prepare it and then after that what you can do is to write the uh, request that I have written. All right. And once it is prepared and uh, give the error if it is not, if the error is not equal to nil then log fatal error. If it is uh, uh, executed and prepared then what you can do is to write this error equal to stmt execute and give the error again if error is not equal to nil then log fatal error so this is how it will done basically it will give the error based on preparation if it is not prepared it will give this error based on reading a file and it will give this error based on executing this uh, query and if all the things are uh, went successfully and then what it will do it will return the db all right that i have returned it here all right so it will give the uh, database it will sorry insert the data into the database by providing this table all right so now it is done so what are the things that i have done i uh, connected the database i created a table i uh, load the environment variables and i inserted the query so now the next step it begins that to how you can insert the data so the, this is the last step so I need to insert the data also. So what I will do, I will write the package MySQL inside this insert.go file. And after that, I will create a function by the name of insert uh, sign up data. After that, I will provide the value four because there are four th things that are currently, uh, that will be uh, inserted into the database like email, password, full name and account name. All right, so now, what you need to do is to first of all write db is equal to create table that I have already created it here. All right. And I will uh, use that table. And after that, what you need to do is to uh, mention the zero here also because this number will basically uh, allocate or mention this query. Uh, the first query will be starting from the zero index. So I have written it here. After that, once it is written, I will write the queue for the query and in write, write a text here, insert into uh, sign up. All right. So this is a sign up query, sign up database table. The, inside this table, the data will be inserted. Insert also sign up and write the values here. Like uh, the first value is the emails. The second value is the passwords. The second, third value is the full names. And the fourth value is the, sorry, I don't need to write the end. And the fourth value is going to be account names. Account names. All right. Now provide the values here. So I will provide the values as a question mark. So these values will be inserted when I will insert them at the form, at this form. All right. So currently it is empty. After that, what you need to do is to write insert error. And uh, the thing that you need to do is to write db prepare and uh, write the query in it. And write the error message also. If it has given me some error, if it will give you some error, then you can write this error message. Log fatal error. After that, you need to execute uh, this insert. But before execution, you need to uh, close it also by writing defer close insert.close so what this defer insert.close will do basically it will close the insertion 
it will uh, close the process of insertion once the data is inserted all right once the data is inserted into the database it will close the insertion process and after that you can uh, insert the data again if you want to call it so if you want to understand it better you can visit this article i will give the link of that article into the in the description below you can check it out so go defer panic recover so these are all the three things that are present here and they will show you the concept and the code here so that you can understand it and there are some other things also like introduction flow control structure data structure functions so these are all relevant to the go line that you can read it also all right so after that what you need to do is once this data is inserted you need to execute this process also because by writing the data it will not be inserted instead you need to execute the insertion so what you can do is to write this empty variable and write er and after that write insert execute inside this execute what you will do I, you will write value 0 sorry value 0 value 1 value 2 and value 3 so these are all the values 1 2 3 4 these are all the four values but it will start from the index 0 all right so now let's give a error message that if error is not equal to nil then what you can do is to write log fatal error all right but before writing or uh, working on this uh, as you can see that it is giving me the underline uh, red underline if i remove this uh, colon it will remove the underline but i need to give this instead of it what i will do i will write if um, length of value zero is not equal to uh, zero all right so basically what it will do it will show you that if this email it has zero length then it will not be executed but it if it is not have the zero length means it is filled with some kind of data then it will execute this all right and uh, let's show another let's give another condition also len value one as a length of not not equal to uh, zero all right so then execute the commands so basically what it will do is will basically search the emails and password if it is filled with if these two things are filled with some kind of data if they are not empty then these commands will be executed otherwise they will won't be executed all right so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and uh, okay so now that's done so all the errors are gone from here so what i need to do i need to first of all uh, uh, here if i open this file here is a package a library that i need to write in order to make it work so now as you can see that this is giving me that it it is not imported so what i will do i will write this here in the command section go get and install this package all right so you need to also install this and add it into the uh, repository once it is added what i will do i will write go get all right so i will won't write the go get td instead what i will do i will just uh, write go install all right so now it is installed and after that uh, let's open the mysql uh, root p let's give it a password because i need to first of all create a database here show databases inside the mysql database as you can see that currently there is no database by the name of proctl so i need to create a database by the name of proctl create database proctl all right so let's create it once it is cleared i want to i want to, once it is created i will write show databases as you can see that proctl database is created after creating this database it will create the tables for it automatically because i have written a function for it also so you don't need to worry about it let's execute exit this and clear this let's install it and uh, give the email a password so proctl and sign up and uh, let's write e for the email email is bilal khan at the gmail.com so 
and the P for the password, one, two, three, four, any password that you can give, and uh, F for full name, I will give Bilal Khan, and after that, A for the account name that I will give, I'm sorry, Bilal. All right, so let's press enter on this. You will see that it is still showing me the data because I have not inserted that data and I have not used these functions into the database. So this was a mistake. So what I will do, I will first of all use these functions that I have created. So let's write, uh, let's delete these print statements and write the sign up credentials, um, credentials and make it equal to uh, this one like uh, first of all for or and string and inside this I will write sign up email sign up uh, password sign up um, full name and sign up account name all right so now it is done what I will do I will take this database sorry insert the this database uh, this function and I will insert those values into the uh, into the database. So what I will do, I will write MySQL uh, insert and after that what I will write, I will write the sign up credentials. So now it will work fine. Clear this and uh, after that let's run the same fun functionality because I have not installed it, sorry I will install it and then I will run the same command here. Alright, so now it is done and it is uh, uh, it is showing me no message but uh, because i have not given it to it so what i will do i will open the database so i will write the same command of the mysql that i have executed previously this command let's give the password first of all and now show the databases that i have already created by the name of proctl and let's get into the um, proctl database proctl use proctl and after that database is changed now let's take the value select all from proctl proctl or oh, sorry i have i should mention the uh, sign up table i mentioned the database name here sorry about that all right so as you can see that these are all the values that i have given it and they are present into the database so let's open a new terminal because to make uh, uh, to show you and uh, if i execute the command uh, like uh, again the same command again with different values like uh, proctl sign up and then e for ali at the red gmail.com uh, password is uh, sorry p for the password is equal to 5678 all right and uh, after that what i will do i will write the uh, full name for f is equal to um, ali ahmad and uh, a sorry a is the account name we are ali all right so this is e for the email p for the password f for the full name a for the account name press enter on this now go to the another terminal and uh, press uh, uh, execute the same command again select all from sign up you will see that this is the new uh, data that is uh, inserted into the database all right so this is how it will work so i hope you understood so let's clear this and let's let's exit this run the command go get uh, go more td all right go more td and now these uh, mode files are, are now recovered and they are not giving me an error and they are just modified so i hope you understood this lecture so what i will do uh, the next step is to make a branch and insert the data into the da uh, git and into the depository so what i will do i will write git branch uh, sign up all right so this branch if i check it git branch you will see that the master branch was previously present but now the sign up branch is created so what I will do, I will write checkout or move to this branch, all right, sign up branch. So I will write git checkout, sign up, all right. So all the things that are I, I did uh, in, this, uh, in this video are now moved into the sign up, all right. So now let's clear this and what I will do, I will add the, these changes into the sign up branch, all right. So what I will do, I will write git add dot 
and after that git commit m uh, sign up phase uh, sign up phase is started sorry uh, insert the data into the database insert the sign up data in the into the database into the database all right so let's press enter on this now all the things are now gone all right and all the things are added into the um, into the git and uh, in the uh, sign up branch all right so if i clear open this uh, dot git uh, git ignore file you will see that this is the file that will be uh, present inside this git ignore file and the color of this dot env file is now blurred and it is not showing me correctly because this file will not be executed into the uh, if I if I upload this into the uh, this repository, so let's upload this. Sorry. So let's uh, clear this and write git push origin master. And sorry, first of all, I need to go to the master branch. Um, git checkout master. All right. So now all the things are gone. And if I type git checkout sign up, I will. All the things are recovered now. So let's um, uh, let's uh, upload the data of the sign up to the GitHub repository. So I will write um, what you can say git push origin um, sign up because now the uh, master branch is not used. Only the sign up branch is used because these are these da these data are now present into the um, sign up branch. So let's push it. Git push origin sign up. So. All right, so now it is recovered and done. As you can see, compare and pull request. So let's click on this and insert the signup data into the merge into the database. So let's create a pull request. All right, so merge the pull request. All right, so merge it. So now the data is merged successfully. All right. So let's update this. And uh, your master branch is not protected. So let's protect this branch also. So these are the settings that I don't need to go on uh, now. But uh, I will refresh this page. And if I refresh this, you will see that these are all the things that are current now present in it. All right. So these are files that I have recently added. All right, so this is how you can do this. And if I open the database file, connect, these are all the data that is written here. All right, so I hope you understood. So if you, if you understood, then uh, like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.